I am using both the Fusion tab inside DaVinci Resolve and Fusion Studio as a standalone application and I have previously recorded tutorials in either of these two softwares. Now whatever you prefer. If you want to work in DaVinci Resolve you can still load the Fusion comp files from the Fusion Studio version uh, and even vice versa. So I got a few questions recently uh, how this is done and I quickly want to demonstrate this so that uh, you can use the files from uh, either side. I have here a recent tutorial which I did in the Fusion Studio version and if you are following along in DaVinci Resolve uh, this is quickly what you need to know. So in Fusion Studio you have loader and saver nodes um, which load and save files directly from disk. So if I look onto disk I have here in my file system I have a uh, video footage here and two pictures and then one file uh, which has the .comp ending which represents the fusion logic which represents this graph here. So in this graph I have the footage here as one loader node and this uh, sign here as one picture also via a loader node and a third loader node here and at the end when I'm done and want to save this I have somewhere here a saver node um, which saves it again into my mp4 file on, on disk. Now the logic itself is in this file and this is actually a text file just for your awareness. If you open it with a text editor you could in theory even edit this in, in plain text. So this is like a scripting language. Of course uh, the graphical interface is much more convenient so typically I won't even open this but just for you to know this is how the whole work of Fusion Studio is, is stored and handled on disk. Now if I go into DaVinci Resolve things are a little bit different because in DaVinci Resolve everything is uh, managed through the edit page and through the media pool. So DaVinci Resolve has a more overall um, approach towards file managing and project management and so on compared to the uh, Fusion Studio version. So if I open DaVinci Resolve I have here a simple uh, more or less empty project uh, open and I have just one empty timeline. If I now want to bring something from Fusion Studio uh, over what I will do is first I create an empty Fusion clip here or a Fusion clip at all. You could even load some picture or something and turn that into a Fusion clip. Uh, what I typically do in such a scenario I just go into the effects library here under effects there is Fusion composition and this is just a blank placeholder basically nothing else. If I know how long my final composition will be that's an advantage then I can already uh, make the length uh, to, to the correct length. If not then I suggest just make it a bit longer than what you need uh, just to be sure because if you have a clip which is longer and then you end up at the end not needing everything you can just cut it off or just uh, shorten it again. But if you start out shorter and then in Fusion maybe you have some uh, keyframes and animations and so on or you have loader nodes uh, from the Fusion Studio uh, you, you load media which has a, a shorter length. Um, then uh, afterwards uh, extending it is usually more difficult than shortening it. It's possible but um, generally I make it longer and then shorten rather than the other way around. Now I have my clip here and I just go over to my Fusion tab now from this uh, empty clip and I see here only the media out node, nothing else is there and I can quickly go via file, import Fusion composition and then I find it on my disk and I just click here open and it's now importing the node graph that I created in Fusion Studio into the Fusion tab of DaVinci Resolve. To have the full linkage in Resolve with the correct media handling what I need to pay attention to is now the loader and the saver nodes because these don't have the same purpose in uh, Resolve. So in Resolve there are still loader and saver nodes but they have limited capability and they are um, very compositing specific so you can uh, load and save EXR file sequences for example uh, but they don't have the full capability of saving into all kind of file formats and so on what you can do in Fusion Studio. 
Um, it's not needed in Resolve because the typical workflow in Resolve is that you have all your media in your media pool, then you work on it uh, if via the edit timeline, and at the end, the edit timeline gets delivered through the delivery page, so you don't really have a need for these loader and savers. So first of all, the saver node here, um, I can just delete it and instead add a media out from the tool menu, control spacebar, media out from the tools. This will send my composition back to the edit page where I just started before. Now, in order to see anything at all, I need to check my loader nodes. So this one here, unfortunately, it just says loader 4. It doesn't even mention the file name anymore that was loaded in Fusion Studio. That's very inconvenient. I don't know why this is the case. Um, but fortunately, it's not too difficult for me to figure out since I built this flow. Um, I just go here into my media pool, and now let me just put all the media that I have into my uh, sample media folder here into the bin. I just drag it over, so I have it available in my media pool. And now I just put the video clip in here, which this was the, um, the node for the video clip. Let me connect it instead of the uh, instead of the previous loader node, which was not functioning. And another one is here. You can also see where the flow is red. Red means problem, right? So red means problem, and there's a problem here because it doesn't recognize this loader node. And now this was the text. There was I had this picture which I used here, and I can connect this. And then here uh, I have my last picture which I, not this, sorry, this one here, which I put in. So now I have replaced the three loader nodes. I have replaced the saver node with the media in and media out just by drag and drop from the media pool. And now I have again my, my full scene here uh, with the picture integrated and everything the way I had it before inside Fusion Studio. Uh, one tip for troubleshooting, first of all, look for any places where your flow is red. You can see it here in the preview window even, or on the notes even if you zoom out, then you can figure out where something went wrong. Also, if you do have problems with the length of the clip, maybe you made some mistake in the edit page, it's too short, you extend it, whatever, uh, and suddenly you see some frames which are black, for example. Um, one way where I usually look into this kind of issues is I open the keyframe editor here. You can close the nodes just to have the keyframe on full width. There is here the setting um, zoom to fit. And here I see which of my nodes I not only see keyframes, but I also see the validity of each node. So I here see here that there's some merge node which only has 500 frames. Uh, and some media out node and so on, which only has 500 frames. And I can start think about why, right? And uh, the reason here is that my media in nodes, um, here these are only 500 frames and these, well, I can extend them, right? Uh, because my clip is, is my clip long enough? Um, so you can, can check here, so I, I, I can extend them. Uh, but then it's either, uh, yeah, it, it holds the last frame, so it doesn't really make much sense. Uh, so the clip itself is shorter, and if I extend here, it just holds the last frame for longer, um, but my clip is actually already over. Um, so, but basically you can look here uh, which of your media in nodes is maybe terminated earlier uh, and, and see if there's something you can do about it or if the overall length was too long, if it was too long, like in this case actually. Um, this was just 500 frames total, so you should go back to the edit page and then shorten it to that position. Okay, so this was already more debugging than explanation, so it's really simple. You go into, you create some Fusion clip uh, in the Fusion page, you go to the menu, file, import Fusion comp, and then afterwards you go quickly through the loader and saver nodes, replace them, and that's already it, and then you can use the thing inside the Fusion uh, tab of DaVinci Resolve. Okay, I hope this was useful for you in case you had any doubts about this. Uh, I do think it's very good that the two tools, Fusion and Resolve, are, are very compatible and that this export-import functionality is available. Uh, also because there are lots of tutorials that were created in Fusion even before Fusion was integrated into Resolve. So if you look at 
uh, tutorials for Fusion 9, Fusion 8, Fusion 7, even Fusion 6 sometimes. Uh, the interface looks a bit different, but uh, what is being explained in these tutorials is still valid today. Now there were more tools added like the camera tracker and so on in recent versions um, but there was still a lot of good stuff that was, was made before that you can utilize. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. If you have more doubts about which software you should use for which circumstance feel free to check out uh, another video which I will link in the end screen and then See you around with one of the next tutorials. Thanks for watching.